Question number 262, cx into dy by dx is equal to y plus sin x. So if you multiply throughout by cos x, we have dy by dx, sorry, dy by dx uh, minus y cos x is equal to sin x into So this is in the standard form of linear differential equation, standard form being plus py equal to q, where p and q should be constants or functions of x alone. Here p is minus cos x and q is sin x cos x, both are functions of x alone. So integrating factor for such question is given by e raised to integral p dx. So e raised to integral p is minus cos x dx so we have e raised to integral cos x is sin x so e raised to minus sin x so our integrating factor is e raised to minus sin x and solution for linear differential equation is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c. So y into integrating factor is e raised to minus sin x. So is equal to q into integral e raised to minus sin x into sin x cos x dx plus c so we have to integrate this then we have y raised to minus sin x equal to let's do one thing let's put sin x is equal to t so we have cos x dx equal to dt we put the substitution we have integral e raised to minus t into t into dt plus c so y into e raised to minus sin x is equal to so we we'll, we have to use integration by parts uh, this is our first function this is our second function uh, so first function into integral of second function is minus e raised to minus t minus differential of first function is 1 and integral of mi minus e raised to minus t dt plus c so we have y into e raised to minus sin x is equal to minus t into e raised to minus t minus minus this becomes plus and integral of e raised to minus t is again minus e raised to minus t by t so minus t it's actually this like this okay let's see now we will substitute uh, for t we have y into e raised to minus sin x so we will take e raised to Okay, there is a mistake here. Okay. Sorry, there is no minus t here. There is minus one. So if you let's write this as minus e raised to t. Okay. 
Now if you take e raised to t common, we have and substitute so e raised to minus t into take minus e raised to t common we have t plus 1 plus c okay now substituting for t we have y into e raised to minus sin x E raised to t was sin x, right? We have minus sin x into sin x plus 1 plus c. So if you multiply throughout with e raised to sin x, we have y equal to uh, e raised to sin x into c uh, minus sin x. Or let's take one second. Minus sin x plus one. This is the final answer. Where c is an arbitrary constant. So these are the steps. Solution to question number 262.